good afternoon on a chilly day here in Florida at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. I'm Chris Gebhardt, the Assistant Managing Editor at NASA Space Flight, and we are here for the CRS-16 launch of Dragon to the International Space Station. This Falcon 9, a brand new Falcon 9, it's booster 1050, as it's known within SpaceX, making its debut flight here. Uh, and it will come back and do what's called an RTLS landing, a return to launch site landing here at Cape Canaveral at landing zone one. And we're about four miles away from landing zone one, so we uh, are gonna be able to show it to you live throughout the whole thing. Wow. Oh, go, baby. go baby go, that's right. that plume expansion chat. There we, there, we just have Miko. Alright, so guys, what you are seeing is the first stage doing its boost back burn to it's flipped itself around and it is firing its engines again to begin its flight back to Cape Canaveral. The second stage continuing to thrust Dragon up toward orbit and the International Space Station. Wow. I need to breathe. So that's that boost track. It's still doing the boost track. You can still see the engines online there. The plume coming out of the back of it. Boostback is how many engines, Chris? Uh, three engines. Three engines on the boostback there. Three so. engines for boostback, three engines for the entry burn, which we'll see shortly as well, and then one for the landing. So it looks like it's shut down. Yep, that's about right. And now you'll see pulses coming out the side just like that, and those are the cold gas thrusters reorienting the booster uh, engine first now, because it will re-enter the atmosphere engine first. Stage two is still flying and still taking Dragon to orbit. Stage two's trajectory is nominal. All right, so we're looking at the sky, trying to see if we can't find a plume anywhere. There it is, there it is, there it is. Wow. Way up there. There it is. All right, you should be able to track that all the way in. All right, this is the Falcon 9 doing its entry burn, coming back into the atmosphere. It's All right, and it, now it will have a contrail behind it the entire way to the ground at this point, or it should if it follows what the others have done. Are you still tracking it, Doss? Oh yeah. All righty. So wow. the next thing, this thing is plummeting toward the ground, and the next thing you will see is the engine ignites for the landing burn, and then right about the moment that it lands, you will hear three back-to-back -back sonic booms as this thing touches down. Here it comes. 
That was a wobble. What was that? Yeah. That wobbled big time. Here we go. It's rolling. Oh my goodness. What? It's rolling a lot, y'all. Look at that. All right. Come on, baby. It is still rolling, yeah. Come on, baby. You can do it. There's the booms. It's very sideways. There go the legs. Oh. Stick it. It's pretty sideways. Nope. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Wow. Wow. Okay, so it sounds like what happened is that the Falcon 9 landed oh in the God. water. And Dragon is in orbit. Dragon's in orbit. Dragon's in orbit. So we had separation for the second success. stage. Mission success. Mission success. Ooh.